Guys, what's going on? Coach Brian Klepacki here with Critical Bench. Talking today about man boobs or gynecomastia or moobs as we call it here. So what are moobs or gynecomastia as technically t called? What moobs are is excess buildup of fat or breast tissue in men. Now women have a different thing called breasts as us men here do, but uh, they like to have their breasts. We don't like to have our breasts. We like to have pecs. So guys, if you are in this category, you might be thinking, hey, I think I have female looking breasts. Why is that? It's simple guys, it's, a, it's usually from one of two things, hormone imbalance or a poor diet slash lack of exercise. Now you might not know it, but gynecomastia is pretty common. It happens all the way from infancy, puberty, even to later stages of life. It's pretty common through puberty just because there's a lot of different hormones going on, um, transitioning from a boy to a man or becoming a man. So there's some irregulations of testosterone and estrogen and things like that that have a huge part of breast or tissue growth. Now, what goes on later in life is also the same thing. There's a lot of different hormones that change throughout uh, the aging process. And so you might be seeing more developed or more underdeveloped pecs and more overdeveloped breast tissue the later stages of life. So guys, um, so what gynecomastia is, it's a simple condition, doesn't require any type of surgery, but there are two distinct categories of gynecomastia that I need you to, to, to know about. Pseudogynecomastia, that's just pretty much just being lazy. That's just overweight, sedentary, unhealthy lifestyle. And then the second is just your traditional gynecomastia, which is more about extra breast tissue. So guys, if you're unsure which is which, it's always smart to go to the doctor to say, hey, check these out, what's going on with my chest? So guys, definitely don't be alarmed if it is, if you're in one of those two categories. It's not life-threatening, but it's definitely something you don't want to have on your body. So guys, if you are in these categories, you might be saying, hey, what causes gynecomastia? Like I briefly said, it could be a couple different things. But the main thing is, is that people tend to think of testosterone as just male hormones or estrogen as female hormones. But both sexes commonly produce both types of hormones. In males, androgens or testosterone are far more predominant in, in men than women. Um, so the increased breast growth in men can happen when the balance shifts, uh, increase in estrogen and a decrease in testosterone. Um, so guys, again, this is not just a sedentary lifestyle. There's actually hormone imbalances that um, can cause the, the man boobs. Um, it's a common thing of aging, but it's also common of some uh, drugs, but also some herbal products. And we'll talk about that in just a few moments. So the most common causes of gynecomastia are either having gynecomastia throughout puberty, you know, so early teens that really never corrected itself. Second would be drugs, pharmaceutical drugs, over-the-counter drugs, anything like that. Um, and then the third is kind of uh, not really understood properly. It's what I think is environmental concerns. So out of those three groups, if you had man boobs as a teenager, which you wouldn't have been a man yet, those man boobs would have eventually gone away and then have resurfaced, kind of like chicken pox. You get chicken pox as a kid, you get shingles when you get older. Same thing that happens with, with man boobs. So now let's say you never had enlarged breasts as a uh, teenager, um, but you are getting on a thing called steroids, there's another group that can get man boobs from steroids. So what happens is these drugs have a huge effect on the growth of breast tissue, hence why muscles grow on men who take steroids. So when gynecomastia occurs naturally, it's a slower process um, that usually consists of glandular and fat tissue. Now what anabolic steroids does and other certain drugs it can induce gynecomastia much more rapidly, and it's just a pure layer of glandular tissue or just muscle growth. So when the body senses too much, too much testosterone or a testosterone-like substance, it tries to reduce the level by a process called aromatization. This process converts testosterone to an estrogen-like substance. So all men have some glandular tissue in the chest, so what ends up happening is that the estrogen-like substance will stimulate breast tissue to grow, resulting in man boobs. 
So testosterone does have a huge effect on man boobs. Okay, so now here's the controversial section of this that I want to spend a little bit of time on, environmental issues. So there are a lot of things that I believe, and science is starting to back me up on this, of saying that a lot of things out there that we consume or we use on a daily basis can lower testosterone levels. Things like soy, BPA, and other kind of topical creams and lotions and stuff like that that gets right absorbed, absorbed right into the skin that has been known to lower testosterone. So guys, if you are concerned about gr growing man boobs or you have man boobs and you want to get rid of them, I strongly, highly urge you to avoid these feminizing ingredients at all costs just because, again, the research is coming out there showing that things like soy, um, it's mostly soy, but also BPA and things like that. So guys, again, rid soy from your diet if you're concerned with uh, breast growth. So now we just talked about what is gynecomastia, what causes gynecomastia, and now we're gonna talk about why no one wants gynecomastia or man boobs. Guys, the thing is simple, it, it's not attractive. It looks awkward, and unfortunately, you can't hide it too much unless you're up north and you just you're in the winter all the time and wear layers upon layers. So guys, the answer is simple. You just don't like the way it looks. So research has shown that men with gynecomastia are a little more insecure and have some self-esteem issues, especially in the teenage years as uh, kids are going through changes then you know, bullying is an issue and self looks is just, is, is a huge part of our confidence, unfortunately, as we, uh, as we age. So again, the main thing is, is it's just not attractive. So now if you're concerned with health and gynecomastia, um, don't be too alarmed just because there are really no um, direct health underlying issues with man boobs. Now, I want you to take that lightly just because in certain situations, there have been known to have caused cancer in some men. Um, but this can be a sign of an overactive thyroid, cirrhosis of the liver, genetic problem. Um, so, but that's rare. So again, if you're concerned with the health risks associated with gynecomastia, it's always better to talk to, a, talk to your physician or talk to somebody who specializes in this field. So backing up just a little bit um, about cancer and gynecomastia. So there was a study that was determined within this study that gynecomastia um, was associated with the tenfold increased risk of breast cancer in some men. Guys, don't be alarmed though. This is not common, but it can happen. Just like walking on the road can cause you to be killed. It's always an underlying issue that doesn't go according to what's general out there in the population. So guys, again, if you're concerned with underlying issues, go to your doctor and they'll de definitely be able to help you out. So again, what causes gynecomastia? Uh, it's a sign of low testosterone. It can be a sign of sedentary lifestyle. It could be a sign of just something unknown like environmental issues. But guys, I want you to know that testosterone is easily swayed by many different things. So low testosterone is diagnosed when levels fall below a normal range of roughly 300. Upper range is close to 1,000. So there's a lot of different things that can occur in testosterone production to cause it to drop. Signs of low testosterone are often subtle and can be mistaken for a natural part of aging. Just because testosterone plays a role in bodybuilding, or not bodybuilding, but mus muscle building and strengthening of muscles, men with low testosterone might notice a decrease in both muscle mass and strength. So if you're trying to prevent muscle loss through weight training, it might be difficult to build and repair muscle. So those suffering from gynecomastia might be exercising, but it might not be exercising correctly just because low testosterone levels. You might not be seeing the results you want. So what you guys need to do is boost that testosterone. So how do we boost our testosterone? It's pretty simple, guys. Exercise, you need right. But also, if you want to take it up a little bit more too, you can always uh, jump into some testosterone boosters. The main thing is you guys need to be exercising, lifting some weights, and also eating healthy. So there's a couple things that you should be eating to help boost testosterone. Beans, nuts, and surf and turf. Those are three 
food groups that I say yes to boosting testosterone. Beans, kidney beans, black beans, navy beans, lima beans, baked beans, and more beans. Beans are high in fiber, zinc, and also protein, which makes them perfect for boosting your testosterone. It's also been concluded that zinc can also help your body convert estrogen into testosterone. Pretty cool. So nuts, things like peanuts, almonds, cashews, pistachios, walnuts, are all high in protein and also healthy fats. They've also been proven to increase testosterone levels naturally. So if you guys are uh, stuck behind a desk all day, just grab a handful of nuts. You can't really grab a handful of beans, um, but you can have a bean salad, beans for lunch, beans for dinner. Um, last is my favorite, surf and turf. Steak, fish, shrimp, whatever, it's awesome for testosterone boosting. High in zinc, high in vitamin D, high in vitamin B, B3, B5, B12. So things like filet, uh, sirloin, New York strip, oysters, guys have at it. Those are naturally gonna boost your testosterone. So let's say you're eating good, you're eating testosterone boosting foods, but your exercise is, is lacking. So what you need to do is incorporate some good total body exercise. So let's say you're starting out to exercise and you're, you are sedentary and uh, you just don't know where to start. My suggestion is to start with low impact exercise. These are things like walking, biking, swimming. Even some uh, group aerobics classes are known to, to have um, low impact training. So why low impact? It's just because if you're sedentary, chances are you're gonna have some knee pain, some back pain, and if you start jumping into some high intensity training, you're gonna develop bigger issues uh, than, than man boobs. You're gonna start getting some knee pain, more back pain, and then you're just gonna quit altogether. So again, go into low impact training. Now let's say you are advanced, but you still have some gynecomastia going on. Start incorporating more cardiovascular training or bump it up. Bouts of 20 minute endurance training can help boost um, your energy levels. It can help decrease some fat, but also improve your circulation and lung capacity, which is phenomenal for overall health and wellness. Rowing is another exercise that's awesome for breast reduction. It's great for overall fitness and has been proven to work. The rowing movement in involves working out the chest as well as arms and back, and also uh, a little bit of the core and some of the legs too. So this particular exercise is great for getting rid of unwanted fat um, that's accumulated from all the years. So my suggestion is start light, maybe a 10 minute workout two to three times a week until you gain strength and endurance to exercise rowing for 30, 40 minutes a day. Swimming is another extra excellent exercise I recommend for everybody, young, old, fast, slow, whatever. Swimming does target the entire body effectively, just as effectively as rowing, but it does not cause too much fatigue when uh, done for more than an hour. Elliptical training is another great way to keep your heart rate up, um, but it, does, it doesn't really do too much as far as the upper body, just because you're, it's a fixed movement for the lower body. The last topic that everybody should be doing regardless who you are is strength training, weightlifting, getting into the gym, throwing some weights around, getting on some selectorized machines, some cables, working out with a trainer. Whatever you're doing, you gotta boost some muscle mass. Muscle mass is gonna help with fat loss, it's gonna help with bone density, but it's also gonna help you with your looks. Now guys, you cannot spot reduce gynecomastia. In other words, you cannot do a thousand push-ups a day and expect to get rid of your fat in a chiseled chest. What you need to do is work out the entire body. So that's why I'm saying row, swim, bike, lift weights for the entire body, just so you can get an overall fat loss. So there you have it guys, everything you need to know about gynecomastia. So the take home message for you guys is you gotta eat right and you gotta exercise. Now if those are two things that you're doing consistently and you're still not seeing a change in the, the size of your man boobs, go see a doctor. It doesn't hurt to just say, hey doc, what's going on with my chest? Because maybe there is an underlying issue that, that we don't know about. Now guys, we also have something for you. It's a free report to seven worst testosterone killers. Click it, give us your email, we'll send you a copy right away. It's loaded with awesome information all about testosterone and, and how to treat it. Now if you're on a mobile device, you cannot click that link, but what you can do is click this little arrow under the video, that's gonna open up the video description. You're gonna see on the top there a link, criticalbench.com slash bonus dash video. That's the link you need to click to get this report. 
Guys, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a comment, send us a, a question. We, we'd want to help you out and answer any questions you might have. Like this video, share it with somebody who might be suffering from gynecomastia. But also, guys, just subscribe to our channel because we're loaded with information that's, uh, that's yours to have. Guys, again, thanks for checking us out.